America 1250 Special is a premier motorcycle built to endure, designed to explore, and engineered for adventure. Combining top-of-the-line comfort with unflinching performance, it's the perfect ride for enthusiasts who crave power, tech, and capability. Now let's take a look at what makes the Special so special. The easiest way to tell the difference between the Pan America 1250 and 1250 Special is by the HD badge on the side of the tank of the Pan America 1250. The 1250 Special features a cool bar and shield graphic. Other key differences between the two models include optional features for the 1250 model, which are standard equipment on the 1250 Special. This includes Daymaker adaptive lighting, hand wind deflectors, heated grips, TPMS, steering damper, tubular brush guards, center stand, aluminum skid plate, and two position rear brake pedal. The center stand can be used to store and service the motorcycle. To use the stand, apply light pressure to balance the motorcycle, then step on the stand, pulling up and back if necessary. The Pan America 1250 has manual preload and rebound compression adjustments at the top of the fork tubes, while all 1250 Special models have semi-active suspension, easily identified by a single wire into the left fork tube. The semi-active suspension controls damping characteristics. Changing ride modes affects engine performance, throttle progressivity, and rider safety enhancement settings, including cornering ABS and traction control. Additionally, when selecting different ride modes on 1250 Specials, suspension damping is changed to suit the selected mode. 1250 Special brings exceptional comfort without compromising on performance, thanks in large part to the Adaptive Ride Height, or ARH, feature. Optional on the 1250 Special, the Adaptive Ride Height feature is clearly indicated by two wires going into the right-hand fork tube. It lowers the motorcycle one to two inches as the motorcycle comes to a stop, depending on the automatic suspension preload. Riders barely notice this feature during normal operation, other than a flashing suspension icon on the display, indicating reduced ground clearance. Riders will be thankful for ARH when they easily mount the bike and confidently put their feet on the ground. The easiest way to highlight the adaptive ride height feature is actually on the showroom floor. Begin with the 1250 Special in the off position and off the stand. Firmly apply the front brake and rock the bike front and back several times to charge up the suspension. Once charged, keep the bike upright, then turn it on to activate the adaptive ride height feature. Notice the amount of fork tube that's exposed when adaptive ride height is activated. The feature lowers the motorcycle via a one-way electric valve that releases hydraulic fluid within the front and rear suspension. Signals processed by the body control module activate the adaptive ride height feature and open the valve, lowering the motorcycle. Once underway, the valve closes, returning the motorcycle to ride height as the suspension moves. Finding an ideal fit for riders drove the development of the adaptive ride height feature. It was also the inspiration behind the Pan America 1250 and 1250 Special offering two seat positions. When the seat is in the low position, there's a small bump in front of the seat on the fuel tank trim panel, and there's a step at the rear where the seat and the passenger pillion meet. Riders can adjust their seat position by inserting the key and removing the passenger pillion. Put the seat into one of the two slots and replace the pillion. That's it. When the seat is in the high position, the bump isn't visible and the transition between the seat and the passenger pillion is smooth. Another cool thing is when the seat is off, riders have access to two accessory plugs for heated gear, a connection for a digital technician, and a battery tender terminal. This terminal is only for charging the motorcycles and is deactivated when the power is on and the motorcycle is running. An additional USB-C port is on the right side of the instrument panel so riders can charge up their phone or navigation unit. Both models feature an adjustable height windscreen, which can be easily adjusted to one of four positions using your left hand with your finger on the trigger release. The clutch and brake levers on both models can be adjusted to change the reach between the levers and the handlebar. Finally, both models feature removable rubber foot peg inserts, and the Special has a two-position adjustable height rear brake pedal. 
Controls on both models are designed to be straightforward so riders can focus on the road ahead, but there are some differences from many other Harley-Davidson motorcycles. The rotary on-off switch and starter button are on the right-hand control module. The starter button is a momentary press to start and does not need to be held down to start the engine. The right-hand module also contains the hazard warning switch and the mode switch that changes the bike's performance and rider safety enhancement features. The infotainment controls are easy to use, including play pause, next previous, and volume up down, which can be found in the center so riders can easily control the soundtrack to their ride. The traction control and push to talk switches are also located on the right hand control module. If traction control is turned off, it will remain off if you cycle through modes unless you engage rain mode. On the left hand control module, you'll find the high low beam and flash to pass switch, cruise control switches, trip reset switch, and the heated grip switch, which is only found on 1250 special models. The trip reset switch can also be used to activate accessory mode. The horn button is located on the bottom of the left hand control module. Directly above the horn button is the turn signal switch, which is slightly different from traditional Harley Davidson models. Operated with the left thumb, left is left, right is right, and pressing the center of the switch or opposite direction will cancel the turn signal. Turn signals are self canceling as well. The center of the left hand control module hosts the home, menu navigation, and page select buttons. Pages include the home page, bike status, settings, navigation, and audio. The bike status page displays important bike information and diagnostics. If there is a check engine or fault indicator, the rider can clear that warning via the diagnostics feature. However, all codes are stored historically and can only be permanently cleared via digital technician. The settings page lets riders change time and display settings, choose simple or widget display, and select from and customize ride modes. Pressing the home button will return you to the main screen and holding the home button will change the contrast of the display. Pan America 1250 and Pan America 1250 Special Models offer selectable ride modes that electronically control the performance characteristics of the motorcycle and the level of technology intervention. All ride modes are activated through the mode button on the top edge of the right hand control module. Each model's rain mode restricts engine performance and acceleration rate increases the sensitivity of ABS, and maximizes the intervention of rider safety enhancements. The 1250 Special's rain mode also adjusts the suspension damping to a comfort setting, thanks to the semi-active suspension we mentioned earlier. Road mode delivers moderate rider safety enhancements and higher engine performance in both Pan America models, but the 1250 Special checks in with balanced suspension. The sport mode really brings it with full engine power, the quickest throttle response, and the lowest level of intervention for rider safety enhancement settings. On the 1250 Special, the sport mode increases suspension damping to give the bike a firm and confident ride. We designed the off-road mode's engine performance and rider safety enhancements for loose, unpaved surfaces. Torque is biased to lower RPM and peak horsepower is dialed back at the upper end of the RPM range. On 1250 Special models, the off-road soft suspension provides enhanced control over uneven surfaces by adjusting damping and gives increased compliance over larger suspension inputs because of less initial damping. For seasoned off-road riders looking for a real adventure, each model boasts an off-road plus mode, which is accessed by holding the mode button down when the motorcycle is stationary and in off-road mode. In off-road plus, The 1250 Special suspension switches to off-road firm, which has increased initial damping for aggressive riding or when less body float is desired. When you become familiar with your preferences, it's possible to build your personalized custom modes to get the most out of your ride. Well, there you have it. These are some important features to know about before taking a ride on the Pan America motorcycle. I'm sure you'll agree. The Pan America models let riders experience incredible Harley power and performance with exceptional comfort and handling. Enjoy your ride. We'll see you out on the trail.